Shipping CEO Angela Chow, McConnell's sister-in-law, was intoxicated when she drove into Link, Sheriff's Office says. Angela Chow, the shipping company CEO and sister-in-law of outgoing Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell, was intoxicated when she drove her Tesla into a lake at a Texas ranch in a fatal crash. Last month, according to the Blanco County Sheriff's Office, a 62-page incident report offers a harrowing account of the night of February 10, when, after partying with friends, Chow mistakenly reversed into a lake and became trapped in her car. She called her friend for help and, as the water level in the car grew higher and higher, said her goodbyes, the report states. The friends frantically tried, but failed to get her out of the car in time, and emergency responders ultimately pulled her lifeless body from the car. Toxicology found that chaos blood alcohol concentration was 0233, or about three times more than the legal limit. The Cleveland Clinic says a level of between 0.15 to 0.3 could cause someone to experience confusion, vomiting, and drowsiness. The report determined her death was an unfortunate accident. Chaos death has taken on particular significance given her proximity to power. She was the CEO of shipping company Foremost Group and the sister of Elaine Chow, the former Trump administration secretary of transportation, who is married to McConnell. The Republican senator, 82, noted his sister-in-law's death last month when he announced his plan to step down as GOP leader. As some of you may know, this has been a particularly difficult time for my family. We tragically lost Elaine's younger sister Angela just a few weeks ago, he said. When you lose a loved one, particularly at a young age, there's a certain introspection that accompanies the grieving process. Perhaps it is God's way of reminding you of your own life's journey, to reprioritize the impact of the world that we will all inevitably leave behind. Chow, a Harvard graduate who lived in Austin, gathered with a group of friends for the weekend, and attended a Pitbull concert on Friday, February 9th, according to the report. The next day, the group spent the day touring her family ranch in Johnson City. The report states, the group had dinner and drinks at the guest lodge, and at around 11.30 p.m., A1 began returning to their bedrooms or going home. A video of the exterior of the south side camera captures Chow at 11.37 p.m., walking unsteadily to her vehicle while continuing to hold her cellular phone in her right hand, according to the report. Chow is later seen entering her Tesla. The report stated that the camera then captured the car lurching toward a wooden barrier, reversing, turning to the left without stopping, and over the top of the limestone block wall. Afterward, the vehicle entered the water. A minute later, the vehicle's lights were no longer visible. While inside, Chow called a friend for help, and others came to try to rescue her. At 11.42 p.m., a friend received a call from Chow telling her that she had driven her vehicle into the pond, the report states. The friend told Chow to leave the car, but she said she couldn't, the friend later told law enforcement. The friend stayed on the phone with Chow for eight minutes, as she described water coming into the vehicle, officials said in the report. The friend also got into a kayak and paddled toward the vehicle, and another friend swam to the car. Climbing on top of it and trying to reach Chow, officials stated in the report. Just after midnight, deputies arrived at the ranch. The ranch manager told the deputies that the back door of the Tesla was open, after which they attempted multiple times to locate the occupant of the vehicle through the back passenger door, but were unable to. They unsuccessfully attempted to break the front windshield and eventually broke the driver's side window, the report said. Once the window was broken, the deputy stated, they swam down and felt a hand, and with the medic helped pull Chow out of the submerged vehicle. The vehicle had been in the water for approximately 21 minutes. The medics then swam back to the shore with the body and started performing CPR. According to the report, the report said first responders pronounced Chow dead at 1.40 a.m. An autopsy was not performed due to the family citing religious reasons.